Learn how to add objects circling the user's head in Spark AR. Okay, so I have an example project here in Spark AR. I have a few different chess pieces. Most of them are hidden. I'm just going to start with one of the pieces for now. And I have uh, my piece. It's kind of rotating around itself, but I also want it circling the user's head. So I've already added a face tracker. I'm tracking all the pieces to the head. And I went ahead and I added a head occluder. Uh, this you just import from the AR library. You can search for occlude and you just import that. And then once it's here under blocks, you just drag it under the face tracker. Now this is just going to make sure that as the pieces rotate behind the head that they're hidden. All right, so I have my piece. Now just to make sure it's moving in a circle around the head. So how I'm going to do that is I want to add a null object to act as the center of rotation. So I want to make sure that this is nested under the face tracker. I want to track to the face. Now I'm going to go ahead and pause the motion so I can get everything lined up. So here is my null object. I'm going to send this back to about the center of the head and then pull it up to around the forehead. I want the object circling around the forehead of the user. And then once I have that, I'm going to take my chess pieces. So start with the rook. I'm going to parent it to the null object. Now I'm going to drag that out a little bit. So here is my null object. This is the center of rotation. And then here's my chess piece offset and a child of the null object. So now if I rotate this object, my chess piece is going to go with it. And that's exactly what I want. So let's go ahead and with this object selected, I'm going to come up here to actions, animate, and spin. Now this will open up the patch editor. And I already have some other patches in here from uh, setting up the spinning of my chess pieces. Let's take a look at what just got added. So we have the null object 3D rotation. We have a transition patch and a loop animation. So this transition, we're going from 0 to 359. And we're sending that into the rotation. So if we play this, we can now see that our chess piece is spinning around as our null object rotates. Now that is a little fast, so we can just change this duration. We can increase it. Now we have a much slower rotation. So let's undock this, expand it. So you can see our chess piece is now going around the user's head. And when it's behind their head, it's hidden by the occluder. All right, so this is looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and add the other pieces. Now, all we have to do is we just have to parent them to this same null object. So I'm going to make them visible. And let's parent it. And this piece, let's move it back so it's directly behind. So we can just kind of rotate, move around. It's a little tricky with the positioning uh, because the head's moving. I don't know why SparkyR doesn't let you kind of have like a reset view. But this is just what we have to work with. So let's move all these pieces in. Now, I want to move this kind of off to the side. So I can click these little squares and I can move this in the two axes, except for the one that the color represents. So I don't want to move it up and down in the Y axis. If I grab this square, the green square, it locks its Y position and just moves the X and Z. So I can just move it kind of off to the side. And let's keep going down the line. So it's just a matter of activating the objects, parenting them, and then putting them in the right position. And then as this is going, we can always make adjustments but all the rotation is tied to this null object. So it's very easy to adjust positions now without changing the rotation. So here we have a rough circle of my chess pieces. If we hit play, let's expand this out. And my rotation stopped. Let's see what's going on. Oh, 
maybe we just need to reset things. All right, so here we go. We have our pieces all kind of spinning around their own axis and then also rotating around the user's head. So it is pretty easy to get um, motion around the user's head. All you have to do is set an empty object or null object at the center of where you want the rotation. And then you nest your own 3D objects under that empty object and then offset them. Go up to actions, animate, spin, adjust the duration and you are good to go.